your experience, what have you seen in the past that, that, that got you to the point where you felt like sometimes you just say like, okay, let's, let's keep it on task. Uh, the best teacher in life is experience. And I've experienced moments in my career, um, finals games, where you had all the momentum in the world. And you felt like you had the game under control. One play here or one play there uh, could change the course of a series or change the course of game, game two. Uh, the 2011 finals in Miami versus Dallas. Um, D. Wade hits a three right by that bench. Uh, I believe put us up either 13 or 17. And from that moment on, Dallas went on a hell of a run and finished it off with a Dirk and Whiskey left hand layup to, to steal that game. That shit burns me to this day. Okay. Uh, I don't think in the beginning that we were um, physical enough. Um, and you actually, you, you have to get a feel for how hard Miami plays. Um, and I think, um, you know, they smacked us in the mouth. AD, thank you. For AD, obviously his first finals game, what did you see about, about his preparation? Was there any advice you gave him? I don't him? feel anything. I expected out of him. Um, didn't need to give him no advice. Uh, we've been preparing for this moment all season. He's been preparing for this moment all season. And I'm happy to be on the same floor with him in the same uniform. And uh, um, he was, once again, a, a force um, every facet of the game, both offensively and defensively. Um, like I said, I've always put pressure on myself. Um, you know, I had the same thing, game one of the Western Conference Finals as well. So, you know, when the ball gets tipped up, all that goes away and it's just basketball. But everything leading up to it, um, you know, you're very excited. Uh, your adrenaline is going um, early um, you know, because you're, you're so excited just to be here and get ready to go out there and play. So, you know, you know it went away early, but uh, it was a great experience for him. A great game one. You know, job's not done. You know, we got three more. I mean to you to have your dad um, watching you in, in this game and, and seeing your first finals and, and to play so well? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, he, uh, you know, forced my mom to, you know, do that seven day quarantine to be here. So for him, you know, to, he's always been a, the one to, you know, go to all my games. AD, so you had that 34 tonight, um, which is tied for third for a Laker debut in the finals. So Shaq's won, then Mike and then you and Baylor are tied. When you hear those names, obviously Laker history is such a part of the experience of playing for the team. But when you hear those names, what do you think about it? And, you know, do you, have goals of being remembered the same way? Yeah, they are. Um, it's a great honor to be in that category with those guys. I mean, it's they've done so much for the game, you know, Hall of Famers, and um, for me to, you know, come out and perform that way and, you know, be mentioned with those guys, um, especially just as a Laker, uh, you know, with the, the biggest franchise in basketball. Um, you know, them guys that you, you watch film on, that you idolize and, and now to, like you say, be in that category is definitely a huge honor for me. Yeah, I mean, you see the, the decal on the floor. Uh, you see all the you know, people in the stands, essentially. You see uh, you know, the, the patch on the back of your jersey, patch on the side of your warm-ups. Uh, so you kind of see that as a finals game. Uh, but like I said, once you go out there and start playing, now, I don't think the fans are allowed to make any noise, so it, it feels like a regular game, you know, in the bubble. Just one win. We're happy that we got one win, but um, you know, obviously we got to keep our foot on the gas. Coach Anthony Davis in his post game said KCP saved us, and he was referring to the two threes he hit when you guys were down early that kind of seemed to get you going. Um, kind of, uh, I guess, zooming out of that, how big has his shooting been in these playoffs? I think he's above 40%. Yeah, his his uh, <laughs> it's been needed. Um, it's been a, a great lift for us uh, throughout this playoff run. Uh, but in particular, in that first quarter, we were struggling to score a little bit. We got some clean looks uh, early, but didn't knock them down. Uh, but I think Kenny had ten points in the in the quarter. And um, you know, when you're struggling to score for a guy to step up and make some plays like that on the offensive end, um, just gave us a big lift. And you know, with with the guys that came in and subbed in, uh, it helped that helped turn that quarter around. Well, we wanted to win game one, you know, and we, we typically start a series, you know, kind of traditional the way we the way we would throughout the regular season. 
And um, we've done that a few times uh, throughout these playoffs. But this team was 6-0 and in the first two games of, of the playoff series in each round. Uh, they went 2-0, 2-0, 2-0 in the first three rounds. So uh, there was a little bit of added importance for me. <laughs>